Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of One Piece, which is on 847. Now this episode right here was actually pretty, pretty cool, not too bad. Here and there, it was pretty fun, along with some filler here, etc. We had to it that it plays a little small, a little long recap of what happened in last week's episode, and as Brook and Chopper arrive at the Sunny Go, Peril's Peril, who doesn't know that the Straw Hats actually survived and that the lightning attack was not from Big Mom herself, tells Brook and Chopper that your allies are dead. So, if you wish to leave, I'm more than welcome to let you go in that submarine right there and be on your way. I mean, I'm generous. So, you can leave here alive or you can stay and fight and die for no reason. Chopper and Brook takes the other option. By having, by having faith in their comrades that they survived and they end up taking on their the small town subordinates. And we have to it that Jinbei and the others are still on the run from Big Mom because apparently as Jinbei says it in this episode that no matter once Big Mom's hunger disorder comes about, there's no stopping her. And she is unfazed and unscratched by Nami's big lightning attack that was made from Zeus, etc, you know? And we see to it that, um, Brooke and Chopper are still fighting against his subordinates while Veg is talking to Chiffon and Pudding at the same time while Chip Veg is like, I disagree with this idea of you having to go over there and help out. I don't want to lose you. But Chiffon says, they saved my sister Lola, not to mention I owe a debt to them. You taught me that you have to pay your debts eventually, you know? And of course, Veg was really reluctant to see her go, but they have no choice. Chiffon wants to save um, the Straw Hats, etc. While, while Sanji and the others are still on the run, we have to that Pudding catches up to them and ends up having this personality switching disorder like she ends up mocking them by saying big mom's gonna kill you no matter how far you run she would chase you to the farthest ends of the sea to get what she wants while chiffon decides to explain to sanji what's going on here and there they ask him for his help because he is able to cook anything as he can wish and he says yeah i'm all i'm all caught i'm all good kinds of cooking here and there you know and therefore, we see to it that um, that everyone else that that Sanji made a vow to his crew that he shall return. And therefore, Luffy's like, okay, I I believe in you, you know, etc. And therefore, we have to it that they um, take separate ways after Big Mom launches a freaking Ikoku Sovereignty or Giant Spirit Elbaf, however you want to call it, and. The time is on the clock. In the preview of the next episode, it looks like to me, it's about to, like, um, start causing trouble and chaos now. And the title of next week's episode is Save the Sunny, Fighting Bravely, Chopper and Brook. So, yeah, um, pretty simple episode. Just Big Mom still chasing down Luffy and his crew while, like, um, Chopper and Brook are, like, fighting to regain the Sunny Go from Katakuri and Peril's Peril, which is... Not gonna happen because you know how strong those two motherfuckers are. So, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. So, I'm off of zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot -toot -toot.